Welcome to another class on statistics. Now, see this question. We are given this sequence. Now, this type of data is called ungrouped data. So, we are not grouping this. Did not group the question given to us. So, just a straightforward question. So, let us see. We ask to find me. How we find me? You press your mode. You press your start. You go to number one. So, just, let's just insert what we are given. 52 you press equals to 48 you press equals to 37 you press equals to 54 you press equals to 48 you press equals to 15 you press equals to 42 42 you press equals to 12 you press equals to that's all so press AC now press shift 1 you notice there is start here and that's what we use then go to VAR then you see your x bar that's number two. Then press equals to that's 38.5. So the answer here is 38.5 when you're asked to find mean. And this type of mean we found is the same thing as arithmetic mean. Now the next one is to find the mode. Mode means the highest occurring number. And if you observe very well, 48 occur twice. So that's why the answer for the mode is what? Is 48. And the, the next one asks us to find the median. Median means the middle number. You cannot get the middle number if you don't rearrange. You have to arrange either in ascending order or descending order. So let us use ascending order. So that means you are to take from the smallest to the biggest. Let us rearrange. We have 12 coming first. The, next, the thing is that firstly count the numbers of data given to you before you start rearranging. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that means we need 8 number here. Now, after 12, we have 15. Then after 15, the next number we can have is 37. Then after 37, we have 42. After 42, we have 48. But 48 occurred twice. After 48, we have 52. Then we have 54. If you check it there, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The same thing with the total numbers of data given to us. And let's check the middle number. The middle number will now be, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 divided by 2. That will give you what? 4. So that means we have it to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. But if you check very well, we have two numbers that fall to the middle. Two numbers that fall to the middle as 1, 2, 3 here and 1, 2, 3 from this side. We have two numbers. So the only thing you now do is that add those two numbers together, then divide by what? By 2. So that's why we have it to be 42, sorry, let's just set the calculator from start. We have 42 plus 48, then all over 2. We have it to be 45. So the answer here is what? It's 45. That's media. Next one is to find the range. A range, how will you find the range? The range is the largest number minus the smallest number. A largest number here is 54. So minus the smallest number we have is 12. So we check it very well. This will be 54 minus 12. So the answer is what? It's 42. So here we have it to be 42. Now, let's press this here. Next question asks us to find the arithmetic mean. Now take notes. Arithmetic mean formula is summation x over n. Now, though I've solved it before, and that's what we did here. That means, but let me use the add method for the remaining questions here. So we have to solve, we have summation x. Summation x means you have to sum everything together. That's 52 plus 48 plus 37 plus 54 plus 48 plus 15 plus 42 plus 12. All over. The total number here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So all over 8. So let us press on the calculator. Let us see what we are going to have. Press the fraction button. 52 plus 48. Plus 37, plus 54, plus 48, plus 15, plus 42, plus 12. We come to the down here, we have it to be over 8. What's the answer? Express in decimal, that's 38.5. The same thing with what we solve here. Now, the second question here is to find the harmonic mean. Now, with your calculator, check very well. Harmonic mean is inverse of arithmetic mean. So it's inverse. What do I mean? That's n over summation of 1 over x. Now that means we have 
n over, you can have it to be 1 over x1, plus 1 over x2, plus 1 over x3, etc. This is how to solve the harmonic mean. And what do we have here? We have n all over, let's see, we have the values given to us to be 1 over 52, plus 1 over 48, plus 1 over 37, plus 1 over 54, plus 1 over 48, etc. to the last number. So let us press on the calculator. You want to press on the calculator, you have it to be, don't forget, we have it to be, you press your fracture button. The total number is 8, then all over, let's be pressing it one after the other, 1 over, the first number is 52, then come to this space, plus 1 all over, the next number here is 48, then come here we have plus 1 all over, or the next one here we have it to be 37, we have plus 1 all over, what you have here is 54. And come to this place, plus 1 all over, what you have here is 48. Then plus 1 all over, next one we have here is 15. Plus 1 all over, what you have next is 42. Then plus 1 all over, what you have here is 15. At 12 rather. Then press equals 2. Now as you can see, we have the answer here to be 28. 0.55, 28.55, that's the value for the arithmetic mean. Press this in. Next one is to calculate the geometric mean. Geometric mean formula is nth root of x1 multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 etc. So, in case you have it to be, the total number here is 8, then square root of, you now be multiplying the numbers, that's 52 multiplied by 48 to the last number. So, let us do this one. We press shift this. Sorry, let's clean this. We have the value here to be 8. Then come to the inside. We'll now be multiplying all the value given to us. That's 52. Then multiply by 48. Multiply by 37. Multiply by 54. Multiply by 48. Multiply by 15. Multiply by 42. Multiply by 12. Then press equals 3. We have the final answer for the geometric mean here to be 34. 34.06. At 4.06 approximately. Now, the next aspect and the last aspect here I'm dealing with is the quadratic mean. Now, quadratic mean is equals to the formula for the quadratic mean is square root of you have summation x square all over n. Now, what do I mean? We have it to be square root of you can have it to be x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. All over the total number. So let us see. Now that means we now have it to be square root of press the fracture button. Our x1 is 5, 52. So let's do that as 52 square plus the next one 48 square plus the next one 37 square plus the next one 54 square plus the next one 48 square. Don't forget the values. Plus the next one. That's 15 square plus next one that's 42 square plus the last one that's 12 all square. Then come to your denominator. We have it to be n. So all over the total number that's 8. Then press equals 2. We have the answer here to be to be 41.43. 41.43. So this is how to do the main median mode range, then the arithmetic mean amounting mean, geometric mean, and quadratic mean. Now, the comment section, if you truly understand this, let me have the answer. Find the geometric mean. Find the geometric mean of this series. You have 4, 8, 7, 2, 15. Find the geometric mean of this series. Geometric mean of this series. Let me have the answer at the comment section. So like, subscribe, and share for other people to know about the statistics. We will still have another episode on the remaining aspect of the statistics. Thank you very much. God bless you.